delegated to our uh, intelligence agencies, and I've also spoken to the international uh, intelligence agencies uh, to assist us, and I'll be meeting them later this afternoon. Does that include the FBI, sir? Yes, it does. Uh, have they dispatched agents? Yes, they have. Not agents, but they already have officers already here who I've already met uh, earlier, and uh, I will be discussing further with so you them. Are, you are treating this as a terror... No, we're looking at all possibilities. The four names, you mean the names that are in the passports? The ones that have been uh, looked For days at. now, they've been scouring the ocean. And still nothing. Flight 370 has simply vanished. Dozens of ships are combing the sea. Every lead has proved false. An oil slick spotted from the air has been tested. It came from a ship. And what might have been a door now can't be found. So the search is being widened from the plane's last known position across Malaysia to the sea far to the west. And we're beginning to increase it, enlarge our area of our search uh, in the next few days. So no trace of the 239 people on board, of artist Memchen Abra, of IBM executive Philip Wood. And for their families cooped up in a Beijing hotel, the lack of any definite news is taking a terrible toll. People are slowly coming to accept the awful truth, but while there's a tiny glimmer of hope, we're clinging to it. We just want to know what happened, he tells me. And many of the families are now preparing to travel to Malaysia, increasingly angry with the airline, their hopes fading. All the waiting and the uncertainty is wearing for the families. What they say now is all they want are answers, to find out from Malaysian Airlines where that plane has gone, and they want all its resources put into the search. There is one part of the mystery that could be clearing up. The two men who boarded the flight with stolen passports in Kuala Lumpur. It seems they may have been trying to claim asylum in the West. It's now known they bought their tickets from this travel agent in Thailand. They were on flight 370 because it was the cheapest way to get to Europe, probably using passports they'd bought. These were European passports and therefore, you know, on the face of it, um, would guarantee entry into Europe. And so it's, it's used quite frequently by what we call migrant smugglers as part of a package to send illegal immigrants to the, to the West. But then what did bring down Flight 370? Tonight there's a report debris may have been sighted in the sea off Vietnam. New hope for answers. Search crews heading to the area. Vinny Dramaticus, BBC News, Beijing.